Hey guys, welcome to class. My name is Shay and I'm an ESL instructor in Portland, Oregon. Thank you for visiting my channel, English Taught Right. Today, we're going to do a vocabulary exercise for intermediate to advanced English speakers. Specifically, we're going to be doing a picture description or describing the woman here on the right in very great detail. So, what I want you to do is this, is using your English words, describe her using these 13 criteria listed here on the left. So for example, what English words would you use to describe the setting or her clothes? What about her physique? What adjectives do you know that can describe her hair, or her eyes, or her eyebrows? What about her nose, mouth, and teeth? How can you describe her chin and jawline and neck? Or what about her face shape? And lastly, what do you have to say about her skin complexion? So what you should do is pause the video here and ideally, write out your answers of these 13 criteria in the comments below. So pause the video here, and in the next slide, we can continue together. All right, hopefully you have a lot of detail in your description. Let's go through this now. So firstly, let's talk about the setting. So first of all, you can say she is jogging or running slowly over long distances in a park. The weather looks clear, or at least like it's not raining, but perhaps overcast, which means all clouds with no blue sky. There's lots of green grass and foliage in the background. So let's talk about foliage for a second. So foliage would be all of this green stuff that you see here in the background. Foliage consists of trees, shrubs, grass, plants in general. So using the word foliage in our description here, we can say there's lots of foliage behind her. Now, let's talk about her clothes. She's wearing a hot pink running jersey with a matching armband case for her phone. So let's talk about this for a second. So a running jersey is a t-shirt made for running. It's a little bit heavier than a t-shirt to protect against the elements. Also, it'll be smooth so it doesn't irritate your skin as you work out. Now, she's also wearing an armband case and that's this thing here that she's using to hold her phone. You can say it's matching because the color roughly matches her jersey. So her armband case and her jersey match. There's one more detail you can add here. She's wearing in the ear headphones. You can say headphones as a general term, but in the ear headphones implies headphones like these that you stick inside of the ear. Some people say earbuds, but that's actually an Apple product. So a general description is just in the ear headphones. All right, now let's talk about her physique. Physique refers to body shape and type. Here, her physique is thin and toned, or you could say she has an athletic build. So thin, she's not wide at the shoulders, her arms aren't very wide here, and her waist isn't very wide either, so she's thin. Toned refers to the muscles that you can see. So for example, the woman here on the left is very toned. You can see all of her muscle definition here in her shoulders, and her arms, and her stomach, everywhere, right? So looking over here at her, while not being as toned as the woman on the left, she is in pretty good shape and looks like she also eats well too. 
Another word you can use to describe someone's physique is svelte. And someone who is svelte is thin and elegant. So again, looking at the woman on the right, to me, she looks thin and elegant. Like maybe she might be a good dancer. So for me, I think she looks svelte. So what about her hair? What words did you use to describe her hair? So you could say her hair is long, black, thick, and wavy. And for a definition of what wavy is, look here at these pictures on the left. So straight hair looks like this. Wavy hair would look like this. Her hair is probably like this texture here, I would imagine. And then curly hair looks like this. Another detail you can add is that her hair is tied back in a ponytail. And so that means this thing right here. So a ponytail, like the tail of a horse. For another example of a ponytail, we can look right here. So here is another ponytail with blonde straight hair. So how did you describe her eyes? Let's take a look at this for a second. So I'm going to zoom in really close here. <laughs> right here. All right. So this part of the eye, the black part, is called the pupil. And then this part that has the eye's color is called the iris. And so you can see that her irises are very dark brown, almost enough to match her black pupil. So very dark brown. And then this part over here is referred to as the white of her eyes or the white of her eye. Uh, here we can see that her whites of her eyes are very clear, right? Uh, as opposed to this over here. Her eyes, you can describe them as being glassy or glazed over. Uh, because she's been drinking too much alcohol. So conversely, looking at her eyes, you can describe them as just being very clear or not glassy. Another thing you could mention about her eyes is that they're almond shaped. So you see how they're long and thin, not unlike the shape of the delicious nut or almond. So her eyes are shaped similarly to an almond, hence they are almond shaped. Next, let's talk about her eyebrows. So you can say that her eyebrows are thick because there's a lot of hair here. They're also long. They're long in this direction here. Uh, they're also black, very dark color. Another thing you could say is that they're widely spaced. So the distance from here to here refers to an eyebrow's spacing. And here, they're widely spaced, or there's a lot of distance between her eyebrows here. Looking at these eyebrows over here, you can see these are also thick, a lot of hair. Uh, they're also pretty widely spaced. So there's not as much of a space, not as widely spaced as the other woman, but still pretty widely spaced. Uh, but these are even longer, so longer, thick. Another adjective you could describe with these with would be painted or using makeup. So she has painted eyebrows to make them look thicker. Now let's talk about her nose. So the bridge of the nose is this part right here. So she has a sunken bridge, meaning that the bridge goes lower than the tip, which is right here. Uh, and here is another example of a sunken bridge. So here is the tip, the bridge goes down, it's sunken. Versus a rounded bridge, which goes over the tip. This can also be referred to as a Roman nose. So here we have a Roman nose or a rounded bridge versus a sunken bridge. Uh, another way you can describe this woman's nose here would be that she has a tall nose. So here's her cheekbone, 
and you see that her nose rises a pretty good distance off of her cheekbone. So her nose is tall. Uh, translating this over to this nose, so she has a sunken bridge, but whereas the other woman had a tall nose, she has a flat nose. So she's got a flat nose with a sunken bridge. You could also say her nose is petite because it's not very big or it's small. And looking at her nostrils right here, you could say that they're very round. So she has two very round nostrils. Looking at these nostrils here, you can describe these as being tear-shaped nostrils. They're still petite, they're still small, but whereas the other nostrils were more round, these are more tear-shaped, like somebody's been crying. So how did you describe her mouth? So I would say she has full lips, meaning there's a good distance here and here. They're not very thin. If they were thin, they would only come out like this far. But these are pretty full lips. Uh, and for reference, here are a few sets of other types of lips. So full, like the woman in the picture. A heavy upper lip would mean the upper lip is bigger than the lower lip. Uh, wide lips going a great distance this way. So getting back over here, you could describe her lips as full and wide. So she's got a pretty good distance right here. So now, looking at her teeth, one of the things you could say would be that she has a slight overbite. This means that her top teeth extend further than her lower teeth. In her case, it's very slight. It's not very heavy. Versus this. Uh, this would be a very heavy overbite where the top teeth extend a good deal past the lower teeth. Uh, Freddie Mercury, the lead singer for Queen, had a very heavy overbite too. But looking at her overbite, it's not that big. Just a little bit. Uh, you could also describe her teeth as being straight. So they go straight down or they point down towards the ground. And even so... Uh, the bottoms of the teeth are about where they're supposed to be, right? So she's got nice, straight, even teeth that are pearly white or very white teeth. So she's got nice, pearly white teeth. Here is a pearl for reference, uh, a very white object. Uh, so looking back at her teeth, you can see her pearly whites is another way to say it. So she has a pearly white smile, or you can see her pearly whites. Uh, another detail you could add is that she's smiling from ear to ear, uh, meaning like her smile goes all the way back to her ear. It doesn't really, uh, but it's just a way to express it. She's got a nice big smile here, like, hey, how are you? So now let's talk about her chin and jawline. So one of the first things that comes to mind is that she has a long chin. That means the distance from her lower lip to where her chin peaks is a good distance, mostly because of this space right here, right? Uh, versus somebody who has a shorter chin, like here. So here, the lower lip and the chin, they're not very far. They don't have a big space right here. But back to our main lady, and you see that there's a bit more space here. So she's got a long chin. Now, the next thing is her neckline or her jawline. So this is her jaw, and this is the jawbone right here. And this here, the distance where her neck is and her jaw meet is the jawline. And here, she's got a nice, strong jawline. Uh, it's easy to see where her jaw is and where her neck is. And that creates a nice, strong line versus something like this. You see, here would be a weaker jawline where it's harder to see exactly where the neck and the face or the jaw meet. So a weak jawline versus a strong one. All right. Her neck is long, so it's pretty good distance this way, and thin. It's not very wide this way. Another way you could describe her neck is 
willowy. So she has a nice willowy neck. Uh, and that word is derived from this, the willow tree. And if you notice the long, thin branches here, you can describe her neck in the same way. So she has a willowy neck. What did you have to say about her face shape? This is pretty easy. Uh, she has an oval face shape. So her head is longer from here to here than it is at the widest point here and here. Uh, so she's got a slight oval shaped head versus like a round head or a triangle head. Uh, former President Barack Obama had a very triangle shaped head. So now skin and complexion. So rather than use words like race, African-American, Caucasian, Latino, instead of using those types of words, I like to use these types of words. Uh, so looking at her skin, it's relatively dark. Uh, and so I would describe this as espresso colored skin, much like this color right here, right? Uh, not a perfect match, but pretty close. So she's got nice espresso colored skin. Now complexion describes a person's skin condition. So looking at her condition here, I would describe it as smooth and clear. So it's not very bumpy and there aren't many blemishes. For example, over here in this picture, this side is smooth and this side is a little bit more rough. Uh, so smooth and clear versus rough with more blemishes. Well, that's about it guys. So in conclusion, here is a paragraph that we could write. Here, we have an athletic, svelte woman in her early to mid-twenties jogging in a park. Behind her is some foliage, and she is wearing a hot pink jogging jersey with a matching armband case. Her hair is long, black, and wavy, and also tied back in a ponytail. She has very dark brown irises and almond-shaped eyes that are clear. Her eyebrows are thick, long, and widely spaced. She has a slight overbite, but smiles with full lips and straight pearly white teeth. Her chin is long and she has a strong jawline. Also, her face is oval shaped and has a clear espresso colored complexion. Well, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, it's the first video on my channel. There's gonna be many more coming here shortly. Uh, I hope they found them useful. I hope you found some good new words. If you like it, subscribe. As I said, more is on the way. All right, thanks guys. Keep up the good work and may the force be with you. Ciao.